Hey, neighbor. You could have told me we were filming from different places. I mean, this looks kind of plain compared to a car. And I have a really cool car. I haven't shown that off yet. What, so is overreacting going to be something we do now? I mean, Growl was the worst game of all time. I mean, what's on your glasses? Have you never cleaned those before? Dude, you need to clean your sunglasses. What is going on? Ugh. It must have been when you were talking about Animal Crossing, but you brought up collecting all the furniture. And the only thing that my brain can think of at that point in time was Coke music or Coke studio or my Coke rewards or whatever we're calling it now. And it was basically just have a hotel with Coca-Cola products put inside of it. And all I know is I wanted the Coke machine. I wanted the vending machines. I wanted the, the Coke chair. Um, and how you bought the furniture or Fernie in the game was by either buying a Coke in real life or drinking a virtual Coke or um, getting a thumbs up by someone else in the game. I wonder what happened to that game. So I found a link on Reddit, um, but I don't know that I trust links on Reddit, so I don't think I'm gonna play. And thanks for answering my question of the day. I definitely wouldn't buy a game just solely on the graphics, but it's 2018 and almost 2019. If you're a major studio and you're producing a game and it doesn't have great graphics, I'm probably not gonna wanna buy it just because I'm gonna assume it's not a great game. So what I'm really looking for in a game is really just for it to be fun. And fun is such an ambiguous word and it means something different to everyone. So in my own words, fun is, F is for friends who do stuff together. No, wait, that's SpongeBob. My actual definition of fun is, fun is something that captivates you and takes you to another place. Fun is the ever presence of light and the absence of dark. Fun is what we celebrate the most. Fun is joy and happiness. Fun is those times that you look back and cherish. And that leads me into what I'm looking for in a television show. Um, so normally what I'm looking for in a television show is a friendly face. I mean, either a character that I've read about in a book or a comic book or I've seen in another place or an actor that I've seen and I enjoyed their previous work. So. Obviously, I'm going to want to see what they're doing now. And another thing is I'll probably go off of what my friends are telling me to watch. Um, sometimes I can be a little bit stubborn on this one. Like, I've never watched Game of Thrones or Stranger Things or The Marvelous Mrs. Mabel or Orange is the New Black or Breaking Bad. Hmm. Do I have a good taste in television shows? I think part of the reason I never started watching those shows is I don't really think that I'd be able to relate to a lot of the characters in each of those shows. And I mean, I definitely can't relate to some of the characters in my favorite shows like Arrow or Flash or Supergirl or Supernatural or NCIS because I'm not super in any way. I'm not a hero of any sort. Um, but. I still feel like they go through a lot of the same things that I do, and I can relate to the overall story. And I can still relate to characters in my other favorite shows, like The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Friends, Saved by the Bell, or Home Improvement. One thing that's a huge turnoff for me about a television show is if everyone's telling me I just have to watch it. I mean, do you know how many times I've tried to watch Breaking Bad and I just haven't been able to get into it? I mean, I'm pretty sure I sat down at least three or four times with the sole intention of trying to watch Breaking Bad, and it just hasn't gotten me. And everyone's like, oh, you just have to watch the first few episodes. It doesn't work for me. And somehow every Monday it comes up, oh, have you watched the new Game of Thrones yet? No, I haven't watched it. Oh, dude, you're gonna love it. I don't really like Game of Thrones. What? I haven't even tried to like it. It's just so overwhelming now. Everyone talks about Game of Thrones, my coworkers, my siblings, my family, everyone. And I've convinced myself that the reason I haven't watched it is, oh, I wanna read the book first. Hmm. 
maybe I just don't want to have an unpopular opinion about something that's sweeping the nation. And I'm afraid that if I try it and don't like it, then people will hate me. And yes, I hate scary things. All scary things. Like, the reason I go to an amusement park isn't to get scared out of my mind. I don't want to be sitting on a roller coaster or one of those, like, slow-moving rides and have jump scares every three seconds. That's not fun for me. I mean, television shows and movies that are just scary or bloody or gory or include, like, too many just random shock scenes, I don't really like those. And I hate Halloween movies. Why would I go out of my way to get scared when I could just watch something that's fun and enjoyable and lighthearted, like Pixar movies? Except Up and Wally. Oh, and Toy Story 3. At least we have Marvel movies. Except the last scene in Infinity War. Why did I like those movies? Which brings me to my question of the day. Which of the extended universes, either Marvel, DC, uh, Pixar, etc., is your favorite, and why is it your favorite? If you like the 90s, guys, feel free to hit that like button. If you really love us, feel free to subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter, 90sGuyKev. And with that, I'll catch you tomorrow, Tom.